So Bernie Sanders and Ted Cruz debated Obamacare last night on CNN. And um, I have to admit I have mixed feelings on it. So at times, Bernie was absolutely obliterating him. Uh, but then at other times, Ted Cruz lied so much and so insistently and persistently that if somebody went into it you know, being a conservative and leaning more in Ted Cruz's direction, I don't think their minds were changed. I think they walk away going, yeah, Ted Cruz nailed it. And that's something that really, really frustrates me. You know, it's similar to the Bill Nye, um, Ken Ham debate. You remember that? It, you know, creationist Ken Ham, ridiculous human being thinks the world is like 6,000 years old and that human beings rode on dinosaurs even though they died out 65 million years ago. Um, Bill Nye debated evolution with him and was trying to be factual and straightforward and say, oh, okay, no, this is how it works. Let me explain it. And Ken Ham is just a brainwashed, indoctrinated monster who's a, a misinformation machine. And he has an agenda, and he's pushing the agenda. Now, people will flip that back and say, well, Bill Nye has an evolution agenda. It's not an agenda when it's the facts. It's trying to spread the truth and what happened in empirical reality and objective reality. That's different. It's not equal. It's not a 50-50 thing here. Well, it's the same thing with Bernie Sanders versus Ted Cruz. You know, there is an answer out there. This isn't an amorphous, all right, well, you give me your opinion, you give me your opinion, and oh, look at that, it's 50-50, you guys pick. No, 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 but there are actual answers out there on this topic. So this is something going way back, you know, I got interested in the topic of healthcare, and I said, okay, so what's the answer? Let me research this thing. And then when you actually do your research with an open mind, and you try to figure out, hey, okay, so who does it right? Who does it wrong? What makes this system right versus this system being wrong? What are the best outcomes? What's the best prices? So on and so forth. You find out very quickly. It's not hard. <laughs> you go, oh, okay. So the answer is apparently a single payer system. Because everybody's covered and they pay less for higher quality care. Case closed. Next question. Now, again, so... A Picard liberal bias. No, no, no. That's not me speaking. That's the various studies speaking. So there's, of course, the famous one, which goes back a while, admittedly, but I think it was the year 2000. It was the World Health Organization. They did a comprehensive study of healthcare systems the world over. The United States ranked number 37. Now, again, you say, well, that's old. Fair enough. So there was a new one recently um, where it compared the United States to the other other top modern nations. Out of all the other modern nations, I'm not sure if they did 11 uh, countries total or 14, I forget. But the United States was dead last. So, again, not a matter of opinion, not up in the air. Factually speaking, the United States does healthcare worse. So Ted Cruz goes up there, and Ted Cruz is coming up with every bullshit talking point you can imagine. He had a sheet of paper with facts on it, but they're just anecdotal horror stories of what happened to people in single-payer uh, systems. Oh, there was a waiting line, and this person needed this surgery, and they didn't get it, and this person, they lost their dad, and their dad's name was this, and Bernie, what a monster you are for not caring about these people. <gasps> now... What's everything was fudging facts left and right. So, for example, he loved to make the waiting lines point. The waiting lines in single payer systems are for elective procedures. So, in other words, not necessary procedures. I am choosing to get X, Y, or Z done. It's not a necessity, but I'm going to get X, Y, or Z done. So, for that, you get put on a waiting list because they prioritize based on need. That crazy idea. So, he goes, they ration care. Ted, we ration it here. Over there, they ration it based on need. Over here, we ration it based on the size of your wallet. And all the horror stories about all oh, the people and the single-payer systems and, oh my God, Bernie, I can't believe you don't feel for these people. Ted, we have 45,000 people that die every single year in the United States of America because they don't have access to basic health care. 
That number in Canada is zero. That number in France is zero. That number in Australia is zero. That number in Norway, Denmark, Iceland, Sweden is zero, 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 zero. So where were your stories on your little fact sheet about any of those 45,000 people that died because they don't have access to basic health care? And Ted kept ranting against uh, the government in his speech. Ted, Medicare, uh, the American people say that Medicare is the best of the healthcare systems that we have. So people love Medicare. You know what they hate? The private insurance companies. You want to know why, Ted? Because they're for-profit, rapacious, price-gouging, unnecessary middlemen. That's why. You want to talk about death panels? There's no death panels in Obamacare. You want to know where there is death panels? On, in the private health companies. Think about the incentive structure that they've set up in the private insurance companies, I should say. They make more money the more they deny people care. Because think about it. So they're a for-profit entity. So they want to pad that bottom line and take care of their shareholders. Well, how do you do that? Well, you've got to try to wiggle out of paying for everybody's care who submits a claim. Hey, look, you violated this clause when you signed up. You told us you didn't have any pre-existing conditions. It turns out you did have a pre-existing condition. We can't pay for your cancer treatment. We can't pay for this issue. We can't pay for that spleen surgery or whatever the fuck. So they try to wiggle out of paying for it. This is the nature of the system. This is how it works in the United States of America. This isn't an issue in other modern countries. It's like in the movie John Q. Sick, help. Sick, help. That's other modern nations. You know how you and I spent, uh, what is it, over $16 trillion to bail out Wall Street? You know how you and I spent, uh, when all said and done, $7 trillion in Iraq? Other countries take their resources, and one of the first things they put it into is healthcare for people, and education for people. So, we waste our money in a variety of different ways, and then people have the nerve, like Ted Cruz, they turn around and say, well, we can't afford uh, single-payer healthcare. Care. Notice, for whenever it's something for you, can't afford it. Where, where the, where's the money? We're fiscal hawks here. We're deficit hawks. We can't afford it. They have never said, you know, bombing Syria, not sure we have the money for it. You know, I'm not sure we can find the money for that. That's great. Bailing out Wall Street, the people who crashed their companies and crashed the economy, bankrupted their companies and crashed the economy, I don't know about that. We don't have the money for it. For them, blank check. For the military industrial complex, blank check. For you and me, ah, we don't have the money. Never have the money for the people, always have the money for the special interest and for the donors. So... That's why I have mixed feelings on it, because at times Bernie was kicking his ass. But I try to always divorce my bias when I'm watching these things. And obviously I'm biased in favor of Bernie, because I love Bernie. And I despise Ted Cruz. But there were times when I'm watching it where I'm going, God damn, Ted Cruz just told like 32 lies in a matter of two minutes. And it said all these misleading things and these false things. And gave people the misimpression that a single-payer system is monstrous. And I don't know, there are people out there who don't know healthcare as well as I do, and they go, oh, well... Obviously, Ted is right. The big bad government is the problem. Again, Medicare ranked way higher in the United States. People love Medicare. The private health insurance companies are the problem. Uh, so, final thing I'll bring up is, there were times in the debate when I really wanted to shove a fork in my eye. Because Ted Cruz, for example, called universal health care, quote, pixie dust. And at one point, he compared it to buying a bus ticket... And at another point, he compared it to buying a Lamborghini. Eh, not everybody can have a Lamborghini, me, because, you know, Lamborghini, that's the best, and that's expensive, and we, not everybody has the money for a Lamborghini, me. <laughs> Did you really just compare healthcare to a Lamborghini? Is that really what you just did? <laughs> It's like, what's his face? Uh, he said it on Twitter and got a bunch of shit, rightfully so. Ben Shapiro. He's like, uh, you know, Bernie tweeted something about, it. isn't it crazy that healthcare isn't a right? And he said something like, isn't it crazy that I went into this store and couldn't get this expensive furniture? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's crazy that in their minds they think like, nailed it. <laughs> nailed what? You made yourself look like a fool. Yeah, Ted, uh, universal healthcare is pixie dust. If only like every other modern nation on the planet had already achieved it to just show us it was possible. Oh, that's right, that is the case. So, 
Ted Cruz, he's taken hundreds of thousands of dollars from the health industry. So just keep that in mind. And that does taint his opinion. So, um, in summation, just like in Bill Nye versus Ken Ham, Bill Nye is 100% correct. Ken Ham's a silly person. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's a fool. He has an agenda. Bernie Sanders is 100% correct based on the evidence, based on the data, based on the studies, based on the facts. He is just correct. He is right. Factually right. And Ted Cruz is a smarmy, lying, sleazy motherfucker who wants to roll the clock back even pre-Obamacare. Obamacare was just a band-aid with ointment over a gangrenous wound that is our healthcare system. Ted Cruz is like, let's fucking rip off that band-aid and let me jam this knife back into that wound a little bit and then everything will be great. <laughs> no, that'll make it worse, Ted. It'll make it worse. So he wants more people to lose their health insurance, wants to roll back the clock, and wants to go full capitalist privatization, which is a dog-eat-dog -dog wor world for health insurance and health care. Don't get me wrong. In some ways, in some areas, uh, competition works great. And, you know, you make the best video games and the best cars and the best consumer goods if there's competition. Wonderful. There are some things where the, the profit motive is a perverse incentive and it ruins it. You know, whether it be the military, you don't want mercenary armies everywhere. Whether it be uh, roads and bridges and infrastructure, or you want to pay every time you turn onto a road. Okay, you got to pay for this, got to pay for that, got to pay for this. Same thing with healthcare and health insurance. So Bernie is right, Ted is wrong, and parts of the debate I liked, other parts I wanted to bang my head against the wall because Ted Cruz is either the most misinformed and brainwashed person in the country or he's a liar.